Hey everyone, it's Innocent here. It's the month of August 2020 and here are my top 5 apps of the month that you may want to give it a try. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and be there any further ado. Let's jump right into the video. So coming up at number 1 on the list today is called Wallpaper Experts. This is a high resolution wallpaper that you can get like a lot of wallpapers. If you saw the wallpaper on the intro of my video, it came from this particular app. It is a 4K based wallpaper and it has a lot of categories that you can browse from. This is by far the wallpaper with the most categories that you can browse from and I'm so glad they made it like a lot of categories that you can choose from. To download this is very simple. You just choose the wallpaper that you want and then you can basically download it to your gallery or you can set it straight from this particular app without having to download it to your gallery. It is free and easy to use except for the annoying apps over there which is of course understandable. So give this wallpaper a try and let me know what you think. Next on the list is called Square Home. I believe this reminds you of something, yeah, the Windows Phone style of customization. If your Android customization is kind of boring to you, you've used it over time and then you need to quickly change to something that is quite old fashioned but looks really good, this is the particular app for you. It basically lets you set this kind of image sliding which will be showing up, it's kind of very beautiful and you have all your applications over here as well you don't really need to worry additionally you don't have to think about the next wallpaper that you're going to use like myself that you figure out that if you use this particular wallpaper for a while and then you need to change it this particular app is the one for you it gives you the old style but in a unique and a very fashioned way you can give square home a try and let me know what you think in the comment section Moving on on the list, I've got Insta Mocks. This is actually a mock-up app that helps you to create mock-ups for your social media, Instagram, Facebook, and even YouTube. So over here, you get a chance to choose a size. So it basically ranges from the Google Play, the iPhone X, to even YouTube thumbnail. So you can basically use this to create a YouTube thumbnail for yourself. Isn't this amazing? And the popular one among these is the Instagram post. So you can pick the Instagram post for instance like this and then you can go ahead and choose any image at all. You can choose the mock-up size or the device size that you want to use. So for instance, Google Pixel 4 or iPhone X Mask. Let me choose the iPhone X Mask here. And then it basically represents your image on the iPhone X Mask. And then when you go to the test, you can add test, edit the test over here and add yours to it. Additionally, you can change the background from here. So you can choose a flat color, let's say a solid background like this one or you can even choose a gradient or any other color palette that you want to combine so this is a great app for you to represent your images and then post it on instagram and on other social media handles next on the list we have screen master this is basically a screen recording or a screen capturing app but then i know most of you have your screen capturing but this goes beyond what you are expecting first of all like any other screen capturing app you can use it to capture your screen take screenshots and all other things but this has a unique feature of taking and stitching lots of screenshots together so for instance here in youtube you want to capture the screen but not in a video form this particular app here helps you once you turn on the screen capture you can actually start now and then you're going to take the screenshot so you take a screenshot and then you use the stitch sign over here or the stitch option here and then it takes the screenshots one after the other so you can scroll to this point and then you can add so addition and then you can add all the parts that you want to add so you realize that it is adding them 
together once you're done with everything you're going to check this one over here and then you can see from here that it stitches the images or the screenshots that you put together but not in a video form so it will save it as an image instead of a video additionally if you already have the images you can use the stitch option here to put the images together so you select your images like that and then you're going to select apply here and then it is going to put all of them together pretty much like a pdf format so i think this is a great app that you can actually use to put a lot of files and images together you may want to give it a try wrapping up on today's episode is ios 14 launcher now if you don't have money to buy iphone yet don't worry you can use your android like an iphone user this launcher gives you the opportunity to use your android like an iphone user it basically gives you everything that the iphone user has except of course you don't get siri but everything that you need to from the control center right to the notification and then everything from the icon packs you get a chance to experience how it is like to use an iphone and if you don't have money to buy an iphone yet of course you can use this you don't need to go and buy any expensive iphone over there so this is a great launcher if you want to experience how you use an iphone and then you can use it to customize your phone and change the feel from that long boring android home screen so yeah that wraps it up for my best five apps of the month of i guess that you might want to give it a try let me know in the comment section which was your favorite app and which of them you might be trying out and if you have any app recommendations you might want to leave it in the description it can make it to the next set of apps thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here and Bye.